Hello all my friends, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today I have another kit. This one's from Tacom, this is 135 scale. This is the M60A1 US main battle tank. Uh, I believe this is from the 70s. Um, the original kit to this was released in 2018 with the reactive armour. If you want to check the picture out. Um, like I say, uh, this is the uh, 2020 release, so this is the second version from them. Um, this is the, uh, I think is the later version. So this is the one from the 70s, I believe. Um, pretty cool kit, hopefully. Tack on, do good stuff. Um, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to do tack on, because there is a, a quite a lot of parts. They're highly detailed. Um, I think they're quite good value for money. I think Tacom's a good company. Um, it's not a shake and bake like Tamiya, so it does require a little bit more work because today there's a lot more parts, but you do get a good model once you've done it. The kit number for this is 2132. We get two options on the side. Oh yeah, I am right. It was 1970s, 76. So these ones were based in Germany, 1976. This one's for summer and whatever. Um, this is camouflage patterns. So I think it's like NATO green, brown, and like a sand color, but we will get into that to make sure. We have more options on this side. And your sprues, you do get some photo etch, your decals. Rubber tracks, unfortunately. Never a fan of rubber tracks, but you could always replace them with aftermarket if you wish to do it. As a top opening box, we get loads of screws. Stuff packed with clear screws. There's your rubber tracks. If you get a closer look at this. So here's the paperwork in the uh, worksheet. Comes in this bag. You do get decals and the feather which looks like a little bit of wire for the cable. So we do get a little bit of cable for your tow rope. Mine's kinked up a little bit. That should be no problem. Easy to straighten. I do get this small bag and it's got two little rods in it. Um, no idea what they're going to be for, so be careful you don't lose them. Here's your photo etch for it. We've got some grills and this piece. This might actually be for the um, turret basket. As for the decals, it's going to be pretty simple. It is a tank, after all. You don't get much decals, like it, uh, unlike an airplane or anything. You got your uh, US stars. Um, is that Snoopy the dog? I'm not 100 percent sure. Look, um, we have these mar marking options. Look like Italian flag. Strange. Um, big dog. We have number 25. US Army. And whatever, pretty cool. These are on the flat side, they're not shiny. Obviously you don't want a uh, shiny decal because tanks after all are on the flat side anyway. So we have a little bit of info on the uh, tank. If you wish to read it, pause the video. Nice drawing of the M60. So we've got your sprue map. Unfortunately, the pull-out is awkward pages. So your first step is working on the lower hole, putting all the fine detail parts in for the expansion. You've got your tow tow hooks and stuff out the back here. This is for the expansion expansion arms. Second step is more 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 expansion, which is 
here these are lights as well these are the uh, transmission covers we have two square pieces at the back this step here again more torsion bars which are here and here and the actual um, uh, what are they, suspension arms so yeah it comes in several parts that's what I mean by this it's to me normally if it was a Tamir kit for instance this would be like molded in one piece with a tack on it's more detailed so you're going to get like seven parts to make up one one leaf spring not leaf spring one um, torsion bar wheels uh, two halves and the yeah, outer ring so it probably be ease of painting that might is that the rubber section part of the rubber section I'm not sure are they rubber wheels right on an M60 but you've got your dry sprockets and idlers and return rollers pretty simple upper hole section uh, one of the hatches all the uh, detailed parts for the hooks um, we have more and more, more detailed parts we have the uh, clamp for the barrel if you're having it in transport position the rear of the vehicle these are the uh, exhaust vents I believe obviously you've got your rubber tracks coming to two halves um, see so, uh, having rubber tracks on a, um, most American vehicles is pretty okay even though I don't like them because um, American vehicles their tracks are under tension so it's always taut you don't need the uh, track sag like you do in German vehicles so having rubber tracks could be okay, it'd be, be perfectly fine Uh, we have the side fenders and side skirts, storage boxes and whatever. These make up the storage boxes. Back of vehicle we have mounting brackets. Then we turn to your turret, asking you to drill out some holes and cutting parts off. Drilling out 0.88mm holes. Attaching couplers and handles and some kind of hatch this is more couplers supports this is another this is another hatch at the back here jerry cans and grab handles and your tow cable which is what this this tow cable here would be free metal one another jerry jerry can Turn your attention to the upper turret. Again, this is a machine gun mount, so you've got your machine gun, the, the uh, cover, the cupola, the turret. They all build up pretty cool. I was right, the photo actually is for the turret basket. You have your main gun. Um, so it looks like a slide moulded piece we have the turret uh, cover or canvas unfortunately it's going to be uh, fixed in place because it's going to be made of plastic unfortunately it's not going to be movable I don't think your turret's going to go up and down be surprised if it does attaching your main gun your turret going on this is the light assembly on the front of the vehicle so we get first paint scheme we have this one here US Army um, 1971 it's like a very faded olive drab I imagine color type uh, they're calling out for US olive drab done by ammo ammo 0081 uh, this one here 1976 this is the camouflage version so they're asking for uh, the green is US olive drab the brown is earth brown 
and the sand color is this yellow yellow gray they're called in 04 so you're gonna have to do your references if you don't use ammo mig um, and do your conversions this one here again is the uh, earth brown yellow gray and olive drab this one here is a desert colored one from 19 1980s so this is the uh, um, what we're looking for where's the uh, number 57 where's number 57 Actually, no. This one, this one isn't US. This is Italian tank. But uh, Nope, sorry. According to this, it's not Italian, sorry, my mistake, it's Israel Army from the 232nd Tank Regiment. Um, 92nd Armoured Division. Uh, but the colour is olive drab sand. Which is my mistake. This one here is US Army. This is the cut camouflage one again, the standard. This one's 1976, this one's Germany. A couple of advertisements. Oh yeah, pretty cool. We'll start with the lower hole. So we have this lower hole giant cast, it is like a cast texture. So they would have made this, by the looks of things, this was a cast hole back in real life. Crazy how they managed to pull this off in real life, so if it is cast hole, just imagine the size of the mould they would need, It'd be crazy. But pretty cool, nicely detailed. Um, I'm surprised they've even moulded these in, not add these separately, but I'm glad they have moulded them in because it's obviously it's e easier to build, less parts, but you've still got all your torsion bars and everything and suspension to put on, so it's still quite a lengthy lengthy build to, to do this, but it's nicely done the lower hole. The next bag you can paint the turret. Unfortunately there are some bags that we see the balls on the not. So we have that upper hole turret. Again, this turret's got like the cast texture to it. So it's a quite a sleek turret, I think. Nicely detailed. We have a uh, stamp there of copyright. I'm gonna have to do my references to make sure that's part of the kit or if it's actually to do with the uh, real version, but I don't think that is. If it's the real version, we leave it. If not, we're gonna to have to sand it out. If it was part of the uh, pro molding process, I wish they would stick it on the inside, not on the outside. Here's the lower section. Again, this part's all cast. This is smooth. Your machine gun section is cast as well. Exhaust pipes, I think. Your hatch. There's one of the uh, covers at the back of the vehicle. For the vents. This is another part of the turret. I think this is for the, for the machine gun, the lower machine gun part. But this is nicely done. We have a small bag here that contains so there's two of these. 
contains one one of the wheels. This is the uh, transmission cover. Some of the idler wheels, all the turn rollers, actually. The hooks, suspension arms. So some of the uh, tow to uh, towing eyes, drive sprocket parts. So this is part of the uh, detailed parts on the sprue. Nicely done. So there's two of those. Rubber tracks. Nothing really to say about these. So here's the upper hull section part of it. Again, this front section, nicely detailed. It's got that cast texture to it again. The rear of the tank, with all the grills, nicely molded. All of this is cast texture. It's all molded in there again. Obviously a turret goes here. It's nice and smooth. These are the lids for your storage. These are just normal. Here's part of the storage assembly for the long ones. These ones are moulded as one piece. You just got to put the lids on. Nicely done. Jet the pins on the inside, not going to see them. It's a nice, nice detailed top. We have two screws in this bag. This is the uh, main gun and jerry can and detailed parts. So we have towing eyes, grab handles, jerry cans with the straps moulded in. So careful painting. The tops of the jerrys. So here's your main barrel, slide moulded, nicely done. You just got a little bit of uh, barrel to put around here. Is the um, is it the gas chamber part? Not the gas chamber, the um Yeah, is it the gas chamber? Um here is the uh turret bag canvas piece for the um turret and here's the uh bottom and top And we have the detail parts. This could be a jig, I think, for the uh, turret basket. But that's nicely done. As always, um, I will do uh, detailed shots at the end. That's what I'm starting to do. wheels so two of these so we have nice detailed wheels nicely done take a nice wash some grime of where the uh, some of the bolts are leaking and stuff, so it come out nicely. These are these outer rings, rear wheels. We have more grab handles, like towing eyes. Pretty cool. Pretty much all the bags individually wrapped, which is nice, so they don't get damaged as much. Tricky to get into sometimes. 
so we have this piece here on the end is the part of your um, light I'm going to snip that off because unfortunately it's a uh, what's on the end and I don't know for where it's going to break just take that off for now so I don't, I don't damage it anymore we have our side skirts molded one giant piece but detailed superb with the bolts these are not cast these are just normal smooth plastic um, there is no um, slip texture on there some vehicles do have it but I don't think this one has these are more stowage boxes uh, detail parts for another hatch this is part of the light assembly I think this is the insert so you'll be painting this like a silver and the lens will be going over the top of it exhaust parts I think these are more storage boxes parts of them not sure what this is for or these or this these are detail parts so you have to be super careful taking these off the sprue um, And this one again, this one looks like fragile parts as well, so you have to be careful taking these off as well. So here, this is part of the turret basket. So taking this off the sprue carefully without it snapping and cleaning up is going to be quite tricky to do. I have got some display cutters, which is probably the best cutters I've got. Um, so hopefully I can use them and it doesn't require much clean up. Um, I haven't got any god hands um, the price of those at the moment is just extortionate especially the way things are going at the moment I, I'm not going to get them just yet but the spay ones is what I, is my best cutter so I'll be using those on these fine detail parts hopefully I don't break these because they're super fragile more jerrys, another part of the canvas more wheel assembly there isn't many tools I've noticed though on this vehicle we have more detailed parts more handles these are slide moulded these are like um, smoke discharges of some sort we have more detailed parts pretty cool We have two bags of clear it's going to be the uh, light lens it's going to be pretty cl pretty clear or pretty damn good because it's just flat plastic there shouldn't be much much distortion between it yeah so that's a clear lens for your light and some couplers it's going to be no issue no issue at all through that Crystal clear for your light. And these ones in here are just more cupolas and stuff, so we're not going to need to take that out of the bag. Nothing fancy. But I will pop this one back quickly. Um, last two in this bag. Obviously, uh, I think your lower hole might have been attached to that. They've already nipped it off. We've got a bit that's dropped off. I'll have to find that in a minute. So we have this large sprue. I'll say I think your lower hole was in this section. Um, as it F, just for ease and it being so flexible, I am just going to shorten this. These pieces are not needed. So we have this section here, detail parts. These are the uh, suspension arms. We have like 
these detail parts, I'm not quite sure these are or any of this, so it's all detail parts. Looks like a uh, kind of a pot, uh, crowbar type piece or a, a bar of some sort. I'm just not sure. It is nicely detailed. That's what I mean with Tacom. They do detail kits, but just a little bit more work than like a Tomia, for instance. So it is a little bit more work, but you do get a good kit at the end of it. Highly detailed. More uh, fenders. These are more the uh, exhaust parts, I think. Another turret. These are more uh tow and eyes part of the fender system these are stowage boxes not sure what this piece is for though could be a uh, part of the cable in for the light more of these exhaust pieces i think might be suspension pieces support brackets why they drill out holes so it saves on weight and it's just as strong still but yeah pretty cool So there you are my friends, another kit from Tacom, 135 scale, M60A1, main battle tank from the 70s, thereabouts. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later as always.